for most people listening to this, you probably don't know what combo is. So I thought a good way to start before we get into your actual experience with it yeah. would be just to lay out what combo is and how you got introduced to it. Right out the gate. Right out the gate. You know? Wow. Uh, awesome question. Combo is also known as Sapo. S-A-P-O. Combo spelled K-A-M-B-O. And it is a... Uh, compound or derivative from a frog found in the Amazonian basin called the Philomedusa bicolor, the waxy monkey leaf frog. And um, this frog, when it's threatened or as a defense mechanism, it excretes a substance that is incredibly biodiverse and very uh, powerful in its medicinal purposes. Um, tribes, tribes, men and women have been using this for, you know, millennium in the Amazonian basin and they used uh, it's used traditionally for a number of reasons um, to rid the spirit and the the body of Panema which is in in South American cultures uh, the kind of bad vibes or uh, bad energy that collects around vital organs and manifests mm. itself as anxiety depression anger frustration whatever it may be uh, it also helps hunters and that's again the traditional sense of that or use of that is with hunting in order to uh, hone and sharpen the senses in order to clear toxins in order to uh, it says to mask human scent even and so you know you could see why those would be good things to to mm -hmm. have in as, the a Amazon. Hunter, yeah, yeah. as a hunter as a hunter it also you know the primary purpose is is uh, I believe to boost immunity I mean imagine like running through the jungle and having all the things that can bite you or scratch you or get infected yeah. or whatever it is. Um, but it, it's a, it's an incredible substance that I think is a very benevolent substance that, that you can get out of it what what you seek from it. Um, it is applied subcutaneously. So you have to basically absorb this through a, a entry point or burn on the skin. So they use a very thin, uh, hot burning, fast burning vine called a Tamishi vine. Mm -hmm. And it's about the width of the head of a pencil, or I guess the, the eraser of a pencil rather. And you make a small, you know, burn the first couple layers come out that accesses the capillaries, a couple capillary heads on, uh, in, in your body and the, the substance is applied. It's a powder or a, uh, a substance that kind of gets scraped off mixed with saliva or water mm -hmm. enters your bloodstream. And you know, it's not an, it's not an hallucinogen. It, in fact, it sucks. It's a, it's, yeah. it's a purging substance, uh, but it's quick. So what, when you go into a combo experience, because I know you've, you've done it with other people and walked them through it and you've also done it yourself. What would you walk into it with your intention trying to get out of it? Because yeah. a lot of people, including myself, when we were talking about it for the first time, I was like, damn, this sounds like I'm becoming a fucking werewolf or something. Like I have something dug into my skin and then like this shit starts moving around inside me and like I'm purging all these demons and stuff like that. And if you don't know a lot about it, you might think that that sounds crazy. What the fuck? Like why would you ever do that to sure. yourself? So yeah, for when course. you go into it, what, what's your intention behind a combo experience? Well, actually, Zach, that was my first thought initially. When my buddy told me about this, I was like, you're a fucking idiot. This is yeah. the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. And, <laughs> you know, I wonder how many viewer or listeners we lost in the first five minutes. They're with us. Combo. What the fuck? They're with us. Yeah. Hell yeah. Rad. Um, so if, if you stay, you'll learn that it, it is something that, and well, what I learned anyway, is that, um, it is, it's a substance that, that is not to be taken lightly. And if you take it seriously and you go into it for a medicinal purpose, you can get a lot out of it. And, and, you know, setting those intentions beforehand, um, you know, I've gone in there with, or gone into a ceremony where I was participating in it, you know, receiving the medicine with the intention to clear out past emotional trauma, um, you know, specific to a event or a person, right? Uh, I've gone into it hoping to, uh, or, or looking to boost my immune system for, you know, the environment we're in now with the pandemic. Um, I've went into it looking to heal my back and then shed some of the limitations I had from a back injury. You know, I did a three mm -hmm. day in a row. It's called a dieta, yeah. uh, three days, uh, back to back to back. And, and, 
you know, the, the intentions going in, you know, when, when you're in that moment, and, and I think it's, it's a great parallel to so many other things in life where when you're doing a hard thing, it's much easier to embrace that hard thing and lean in. And if you resist it, if you try to fight it, like if you're, you know, cause what combo does is it, it, there's a lot of different compounds in it. And in those, uh, the symptoms of this experience are very rapid onset of, uh, flushing heat, swelling of the face, um, you know, potential nausea, uh, your heart rate goes up, your blood pressure drops. Like it's, it's a lot of things going on at once and it comes on very quickly and it, it lasts 15 to 20, 30 minutes. There's no real pain, but there's immense discomfort and you know, you're going to get out of that, mm-hmm. right? You just got to make it through. And if yeah, even, folk, even hearing about it just makes me feel I'm sweating kind of like my uncomfortable f- face off right, right now. now. But, but, yeah. but I like, I like talking about this type of stuff because I feel like even, even though combo is not a psychedelic, you, you said you don't hallucinate. No, yeah. there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that are going on with research, with the mind and mm-hmm. things that affect your mind like psychedelics or something like combo that people are paying more and more attention to Mm -hmm. because we know a lot about the things that go on in this world that are outside of our mind but i feel like people are paying more attention to something like a combo experience where it may seem weird but 50 years from now 20 years from now whenever this could be a normal thing and a normal treatment and you and you see that with a lot of the psychedelic research going on right now at, at Johns Hopkins Institute, they're testing psychedelics on people with PTSD, with addiction, eventually for the betterment of healthy people. Mm-hmm. And so for anyone listening who understandably thinks this is weird, and, and yeah, a lot of it seems weird to me too, and, and I've never tried it. I, I like talking about it because it's abnormal in a way. Yeah. It's, not, it's not the usual way of thinking, and it challenges you to kind of step outside of what you consider normal which in a time like this in in covid we're recording this in august of 2020 like being outside of normal is the normal thing right now it's the normal thing and, and i think when you look at what normal has gotten us and where it's gotten us into a society um i don't want to be normal you know i don't want to i don't want to be like not only just intrinsically like oh, i want to be unique you know but i don't want to i, I don't believe that the normal that we had or or have is healthy. And, you know, so I, I take great, um, pride and responsibility for how, you know, what I put into my body on a regular basis and, uh, how I, how I show up from a physical and emotional and mental standpoint. And, you know, there's a, there are a couple resources to, to look into if you're interested in this Sapo in my soul by Peter Gorman is a beautifully written book on, um, on this subject. And Peter was the, was the investigative journalist who brought combo to the West basically mm-hmm. in the early eighties. Uh, the other resource I would say in, in my connection to it is a gentleman by the name of Simon Scott and he has a site called combo cleanse.com. I would check that out. Mm-hmm. But you know, I think more than anything, like I, I I've dove into the research. I, I, I understand a little bit more than I think most people, what physiologically kind of is happening. Mm -hmm. And I've experienced it so many times I've seen it, you know, administered it a a lot of times as well. And, and, but ultimately like if you break it down, like I burn and poison myself and there's a mental edge I have by knowing that, that I do hard shit. Like I take this burning orange hot vine and I just go, and then I sprinkle some shit on knowing like where I'm going to be in 20 minutes. And then knowing where I'm going to be tomorrow, knowing that I did that hard thing. Yeah. And a lot of, a lot of things now in my life are not nearly as hard as a combo experience. Mm -hmm. And so cool. I can handle it. 